In this video, I'm going to show you six easy Siri shortcut ideas that you could do with your Apple TV, plus how to set each one of them up. These shortcuts work with the new Apple TV and the previous version as well. Starting with Siri shortcut idea number one is called Let's Relax. In my 10 Siri shortcuts I use daily video, I used this shortcut and you guys were really wanting to know how do you set this up. So if you haven't seen it, I'm going to go ahead and show you what this shortcut does and how to set it up. After dinner, we like to watch a show or a movie on the Apple TV. TV. Let's relax. And then the HomePod Mini turns on the Apple TV, asked me what I want to watch. What would you like to watch? YouTube, Prime Video or Disney Plus? Prime Video. That's done. Enjoy your show. And sets the lights to a color I chose for each app. Disney Plus is light blue and Prime Video is dark blue. All right, so to set this shortcut up, all you gotta do is open up the shortcuts app, tap the plus symbol on the top right, then choose add action, and you can just type in Apple TV. Then choose the Apple TV remote app and scroll down to wake Apple TV. Now choose your Apple TV. Now we need to have Siri ask us what we want to watch. So tap the plus button. Then we can just type in uh, choose from menu. Now the prompt is what she will say. So we'll type in what would you like to watch? And then we're going to go ahead and type in the apps that we want to open. So for this one, we'll just do YouTube. Now we need to choose what happens whenever we say each option. So for YouTube, let's say you want to open up the YouTube app and turn lights red, but then turn off the rest of the lights. So go ahead and hit the plus symbol again and just type in Apple TV again and choose the Apple TV remote. Then tap on open app on Apple TV. I'm gonna put this in the right spot. Then tap on Apple TV and then it will load all of your, all of your apps. Tap on master. And we want to open up YouTube, so go down to YouTube. And I already have a scene pre-set up that turns off all the lights and changes some of the lights to red. So we're going to, going to go ahead and choose, type in home, and you can just choose control your home. Scroll this, put it where it needs to be at. Tap this, and I already have this scene called colorful, and that will just set my lights to the way that I want it to be. Then we will hit next. Then you repeat the same process for each of the next apps. Next, we need to tell Siri what to say once everything has been done. So you can just tap on the plus symbol again, and we're gonna type in speak, and then choose speak text. So it'll say speak menu result, but we need to get rid of that. So just tap on menu result, and just hit the keyboard, and then hit backspace. Let's say you want her to say, that's done, enjoy your show. So we'll hit next, and then we'll say, call it let's uh, let's relax and of course you can change the color the color and the the icons as well But for now, I'll just leave it just the way it is and then we'll hit the hit done And that's how it's done if you're watching a show and need to navigate the screen But your remote is lost in the couch abyss or it's not nearby then you can have Siri bring up the remote controls on your iPhone Give me control Done now you can use the screen as your trackpad and you get the same buttons like you would with a remote. Plus, it's easier to search for items with a on-screen keyboard than to use the swipe gesture on the trackpad, which is sometimes hit or miss. This shortcut is just a one action setup. So we're gonna choose add, add action and Apple TV again. And then we're gonna choose show remote control and then choose, of course, your Apple TV. And so that's all there is to that one. Again, you can just say, give me control and that's it shortcut number three is also from my 10 series shortcuts i use daily video and that is the getting a snack slash i'm back shortcuts i'm getting the snack she pauses the show turns the kitchen lights to white so i can see and after getting my snack i come back and say i'm back Lights going off and playing the show. She sets the lights back to blue and plays the show. So all I need to do is just hit the plus symbol and tap in add action. Now I just need to do type in Apple TV. We want her to pause the show. So choose the play pause and then we need to choose our Apple TV. Now I just need to have Siri turn on some lights. So I already have a scene set up that turns on all my lights. So you can just type in home, control your home. And I have a scene called main lights that turns everything on. Now we need to have Siri tell us what she's done. Now this part is optional. You don't have to have Siri speak, but I like to hear her talk. So that's why I put the speak in here. Just choose speak. And I'll say, I want to have her say, I've paused the show and turned on the lights. And that's all there is to that one. 
Again, we'll just give it a name and just click done. Now the next shortcut I'm back works the exact same way, just in reverse. So go ahead and choose add action and choose speak. Again, the speak is optional, but I'm, I'm gonna have her say lights going off and playing the show. Now we need to have Siri turn off some lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus button and just again, just type in home and choose, choose my home. And I want her to just turn off all the lights in the living room. I don't have a scene for this, unfortunately, but I'm just gonna turn everything off right here. And there we go, let's turn all, all, all that off. And now we need to have her play the show. So choose your Apple TV and then choose play and pause and then choose your Apple TV. Okay, and then that's it. Now we, we, we can give it a name, say I'm back. And that's how you create those two shortcuts. Idea number two is that Siri can suggest shows if you're not sure what you want to watch. I need something to watch. Sure, Adam. I'll help you find something to watch. Here is your movies must watch list. Movies must watch. Toy Story, Finding Dory, Coco. Does any of these sound good? Yes or no? Yes. This shortcut works best when a show or movie is from one app, like Disney Plus or Prime Video. Otherwise, this shortcut can get very complicated. So in this video, we'll just be doing everything from Disney Plus. To start this shortcut off, we first need to add the speak text action. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over here, and we're gonna go ahead and type what we want Siri to say. We now need to have Siri go look in our notes app. So we just need to search for the notes actions, and we can just do tap notes, and then just choose find notes. Now we need to make some adjustments here. First off, we need to tap the add filter and change the body to name, and then change contains to movies. So now we just wanna go back and then type speak again, and drag speak text under here. So now it's gonna speak whatever the note says. So now we need to add another prompt. So we're gonna to go to choose from menu, and drag this right here, all the way under here. Now we need to type in what she's going to tell us. So we're gonna say, does any of any of these sound good? Okay, now we need to add two options. We're either gonna say yes, or we're gonna say no. So if we say yes, what's going to happen? Well, since we're gonna be using Disney Plus, we need to have Siri open up an app. So we're just gonna type in open app, and we can just drag this right over here, open app on Apple TV and then tap and choose our Apple TTV, and then we're gonna choose Disney Plus. And now let's say we want the lights to change colors, so we're just gonna go to Control and then Home, and then just Control my home, and I'm gonna choose one of my lights over here, so I'm gonna choose my office background light, and we're gonna turn that, uh, let's turn that blue to like 100%, perfect and click done. All right, so if we say no, what I want to have happen is have Siri run the shortcut that we just did from the very first thing where it asks you ask us what we want to watch, Disney Plus, Prime Video, or YouTube. So to have Siri run a previously created shortcut, we need to go into the search and then just type in shortcut, tap shortcuts, and then choose run shortcut. I'm gonna put that under our no. And now we're gonna go in and choose our shortcut. So I think it was called let's uh, relax, perfect. So now whenever we say yes, it's gonna open up the app and change the colors. If we say no, it's going to run a previously created shortcut. And we can also give, give, give this a name. I need something to watch. Shortcut number five is that you can quickly show the screensaver on your Apple TV. The screensavers on the Apple TV look amazing. And sometimes I'll just leave the Apple TV on with the screensaver just because they look really cool. Now there are two ways to create this shortcut and it depends if your Apple TV is off or on. And we'll go ahead and start whenever your Apple TV is off. So to do this, just choose add action. And again, of course, choose your Apple TV remote and then do wake Apple TV, scroll down a little bit, and then choose your Apple TV. Now sometimes it won't work right away if you tell it to just wake the TV and then play a screen saver. It needs time to boot up the Apple TV before it can play the screen saver. So what I like to do is put a wait action. So you can just hit the plus button, get out of here, and then just type in wait. So basically this will tell the shortcut to wait a couple of seconds before it goes on to the next step. So about five seconds it takes for it to boot up. So we're just going to adjust this to five seconds. Now we need to add the screensaver action. 
So hit, hit the plus button and again just tap in the Apple TV again and then we're going to need to choose launch screensaver on Apple TV and then of course choose your Apple TV and we're going to go ahead and give it a name. We're just going to say nice view. If your Apple TV is already on, then what you can do is just go ahead and just create the sh shortcut where it will just launch the screensaver right out the gate. And finally, idea number six is that you can use your HomePod Mini as speakers for your Apple TV. This is a great way to have high quality audio whenever you're watching a show instead of using your built-in TV speakers. Good sound. First, you need to pair the HomePod Mini as a stereo pair in the Home app. Now, a couple things to note about doing this is that it will only use AirPlay, so you will have to manually create the connection each time. But this shortcut will speed things up. You will have to uncheck the TV speakers as output if the TV is already on. Otherwise, it will play from the TV speakers and the HomePod Minis. So to create this shortcut, all we need to go to is add action and then type in handoff and then handoff playback and then choose from from the source that will be your apple tv so we're going to choose master and then to our destination is going to be our homepod minis or homepods so just choose your homepods and then tap next so for this shortcut i will just call this good sound and hit done like this video if you want to see more siri shortcuts here are 10 siri shortcuts that i use every day thanks for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one